Weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. It's good news Friday, football Friday, less than stellar mm -hmm. news. We got some smoke. Yeah, we oh, sure did. That's a downer. I mean, we got yeah, like, not fun, but you know what? It won't stick around for the entire Labor Day okay. weekend. Hey, speaking of Labor Day, take to the skies. Want to show you those airports seeing delays. That includes Vegas, O'Hare, Charlotte was an issue, and then Dallas, Fort Worth. Now, we know that we're seeing flash flooding in the Gulf Coast area, as well as thunderstorms from Chicago all the way to the East Coast. We're quiet in the Beehive State. High pressure and control, and you see in the last few hours a few storms wanting to bubble up right near the state line. That includes towards Iron County over the mountains. Live view from West Valley. Brian just talked about it. It's smoke and it's blocking my favorite view of the Wasatch Mountains. Darn it. You know what? We watch the smoke move in and it wants to hold steady as we make it through tonight. Temperatures in the 80s out there. 85 in Salt Lake. 90s popping up in Moab. I-15 corridor. 100 degrees in St. George. Hey, it's the season opener for the Cougs. If you're going to be in Utah County, those 90s will turn into 70s as we get through tonight. Go Cougars, and that will be the temperature trend for the Wasatch Front. Speaking of temps, August recap, 80.6 degrees for that average temperature. Earlier this week, we were tracking in Salt Lake City to be the fourth warm warmest August so far. With those cooler days, we're now the seventh. Did really well on the precipitation front. I'll show you the calendar here. Miracle Monsoon on the 12th, 13th, and 17th. We almost doubled our August average. This is significant because we were below average in Salt Lake City with precipitation since April. Summer rains change that, and not just for Salt Lake County. Look at St. George, almost an inch over what they typically see in August. Monsoon will do that. Above average in Cedar City on the money in Logan. So throughout the state, the summer rains coming through. Live view from Old Main in Cache Valley, where it is smoky. Smoke-filled skies moved in and kind of want to stick around. Can you blame them? I'd camp in the West Desert. It's gorgeous. Unfortunately, that smoke is out there, and we know that it is elevated particulate matter in places like Box Elder, Weber, and Tooele counties. Cache Valley is part of that. We put this into motion, and you see that smoke sliding further and further south into the West Desert. You'll see it in Delta. Milford wants to extend all the way to Iron County along the Wasatch Front. Hazy conditions as we head towards tomorrow morning. Air quality for the beginning of Labor Day weekend. Unhealthy air in Cache Davis. Salt Lake and Utah counties, moderate air for the Wasatch back to Willa County. This is ozone as well as that wildfire smoke. High pressure in control over the western Great Basin, but it starts to move on over to Utah. Positioning of the high brings back cloud cover and the chance of storms. Monsoon moisture is there, and with instability and the heat, we will see some storms bubbling up. Weather models don't love it. Here's the thing. Over the high country, I do. I think we're going to see it towards Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef. So if you're in these areas, you want to make sure you stay weather aware. By Monday afternoon, could see an isolated storm for the Wasatch Front on the actual holiday. Be careful. Eyes to the skies. Development in the West Desert could mean storms coming through. That moisture surges north and brings a chance of storms Monday and Tuesday. In the south, general thunderstorm threat for your Saturday. Not severe storms, but windy. Could get some rain out of this, so heads up. Regional forecast showing those temperatures in the 90s. Oh, the warmth. It's going to be hazy and smoke-filled. More cloud cover in southern Utah as that moisture streams in. 101 in St. George. Here's a look at the next seven days. You'll see those triple digits or at least close to it for the next little while as you take a check on the Labor Day forecast. Just a slight chance, but isolated storms for the next two days. Park City, Kanab, Lake Powell, all these areas that we love to go and visit. Stay weather aware. Wasatch Front 90s for the next little while. Isolated storms for your holiday. Hello, Labor Day. Hello, smoke. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello, Alana. <laughs>